In this video, we want to explain how the device called the counter, the colony counter. We have here the model Astor 20, colony counter. Uh, how it works. Um, when you receive the device, it comes uh, very simple. As, um, it has electrical wire adapter, uh, of course. And at the back here, you see the consumption is very, uh, very low. It's, uh, it, on the side, you can see it, uh, 2 watt. Uh, but at the back, you have four uh, screws. Uh, if you remove this screw, uh, four screws in the middle here and uh, four other here, if you remove this cover, uh, you will find a battery. Uh, this battery can be replaced easily by ordering them. Uh, but uh, before you use, you can use the battery, you, it has to be charged, so you have to leave the device connected to the electrical socket for a while. Now, if you look at the device itself, it's very simple. You have here first a, a counter uh, with a, a liquid crystal display, and you have a reset, a small reset button. For example, the number here is 6. If I want to put it to zero, I press the reset and then it's zero. And you have the main switch here. Uh, you see here it's working because the battery is uh, providing some energy. But normally I put it here on with the main switch and you can see the main, the central part uh, that's called uh, uh, the, the plate and you have a ring that will uh, be put inside the plate and uh, this ring the role is to maintain in position the petri dish that will contain your agar with the bacterial growth uh, colonies if you put inside. The bacteria colonies will be uh, on, your, on the top of your agar inside the, the petri dish uh, as this for example as you can see here uh, you have a certain uh, number of colonies here and to make it easier sometimes more much more densified than this and then it's difficult to count and then you put uh, your, 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 this on the top and you, since the petri dish is transparent you can see the colonies inside and you have these uh, squares uh, inside that will make you count the, your counting easier uh, now if the device is on you just press uh, you just press uh, the colony the number of groups or colonies you have uh, if you have one here, you press, and then you look at the counter, it's marking one. Uh, the counter is marking one. If I press again, two, and then you have three, and then you come this way, uh, it, it will record directly the number of colonies you are counting. Now the frames inside here are making easier to distinguish the border, the boundaries of your groups. Uh, the, the bacteria colonies, the boundaries of the groups, uh, as you see here. Now sometimes, even with that, uh, the, the number of groups or colonies are so many that uh, you cannot easily count them uh, with your neck, uh, neck eye, eyes. Uh, then you use this, uh, this uh, device, that's a magnifying uh, device. Uh, the model we have here is this one. And you, you bring uh, this you connect the model, it has an electrical uh, connection also. Uh, on the front, in front of, you, you bring the magnifying glass in front of your, uh, your plate, and then you can, if the light is not enough, you can light it up. Uh, and then you look at, you look at, you look at the uh, inside, uh, uh, the, the plate, uh, through the magnifying glass, and then you can count now by just pressing at the bottom or the top of your uh, your uh, your agar, you can count the colonies much easier because you have magnified them and the number is displayed in the counter. So this is very practical for counting the bacteria. And then if you have the number of colonies here, you know that if the dilution factor was, for example, uh, uh, 100, uh, you find that you have 10 colonies, then you multiply the 100 by 10 colonies, and then you have 1,000 in your original sample of back, the 1,000 bacteria in your original sample. That's all.